My wife cheated on me with my dad. All the legal stuff is nearing an end. It's all hitting me now. Now what? So long story short my wife cheated on me and had an affair with my dad. I had irrefutable proof and they both admitted to it. I am in the process of finalizing the divorce and everything on that end has been very procedural. I've been able to keep going by being very task oriented and focusing on the immediate to-do list but that will soon all be over. I know I'll need therapy and counseling but I guess I'm on here seeing if there is any support or anyone who may have any insight into this. It all just sucks. My wife is the only girl I has ever seriously dated. My dad raised me as a single father and I'm an only child and now I don't think I can ever talk to him again. Sorry, this isn't very coherent. I hope no one has been through this but if you have. What's next? How dreadful. Betrayal upon betrayal. Losses to grieve upon losses. I recommend finding a therapist that specializes in grief and perhaps trauma, PTSD. Build a good support network. You can get through this. PTSD? I'm not disagreeing but maybe I have a misunderstanding of what PTSD is. I'll definitely consider it. I'm not making a diagnosis by any stretch. Infidelity related PTSD is fairly common among betrayed people. So your father is aware that he permanently destroyed his relationship with you. Is he even trying to salvage it? I don't know. He speaks as if it was a mistake that he should have forgiveness for. I don't plan on speaking to him every again. I mistake that he should have forgiveness is for. He ruined your marriage and caused a divorce. What was his explanation for keeping this up? Is he just delusional right now or does he honestly think it is not a big deal? Has he tried contacting you and making amends? Did you catch them or did they confess? If you caught them did you ask them if they were ever going to tell you? I believe his thought process is I was lonely and didn't mean for it to get like this but I know he is only sorry because he was caught. I'm certain he thinks I'll forgive him and we'll move on. We won't. You might want to let him know he has severed your relationship and you are going NC. Maybe at that point he will realize the error of his ways and try to figure out how to make amends if possible. What dad needs is intensive therapy to figure out why he even thought having an affair with your daughter-in-law is remotely okay. If he was lonely, he should have found his own person, not his son's. That is so effed up. Do you have friends or extended family that you can lean on? I don't know my mom's side and my dad's side seems to be conflicted with who to support quite a few don't believe me and it's pretty taxing so I'm not sure what to do there. I have a good friend system and I'll try my best to use them without draining them either. The ones who don't believe you are trash. Do not talk to them either. Thanks. I only see my extended family when they are all together. I don't know if I'll ever hang around the ones who do believe in me and cause any division. I haven't thought that far ahead. If you think it could help you to meet the one or the other. You haven't caused the division. About all the rest I just want to say, just let me sit a little bit by your side, when you feel alone. Are they apologetic? Are they going to continue a relationship? What was your dad's explanation? My dad took my wife out to dinner while I was out of town. They drank and one thing led to another which then led to a secret affair is the short of it. Sorry, I don't wish to go much further into details. They were both sorry but I'm kind of numb to it. It was an affair. Not a one-time thing. No idea what their plans are. I know I need to put them both behind me and try to pick up the pieces as best I can. Are they still together? If so, do they live together now? You said his family is unsure he would do this. I would get out in front of this so he can't make up stories. I think the disrespect here far outweighs anything else, the wife I can still somewhat understand as she won't be the first or last wife or husband for that matter to step out on the marriage. 
The fact that she did it with your father though is unforgivable. You are justified in divorcing her and moving on. If it was anyone else maybe. But your own flesh and blood father that gave you life? Not a forgivable offense I'm sorry. As for your father. He was the one person that you thought you could trust above all others and he betrayed you worst of all. You will never look up to or respect him again. When all is said and done you should move far away from the whole lot of them and start your life over. But before you do make them aware that they are both dead to you and you never want to hear from or speak to either one of them ever again. The kind of betrayal they threw on you is the kind that there is no forgiveness or coming back from. Good luck to you. Your life can only get better without that kind of perverted trash in it. Onward to the rest of your life with someone that actually cares about you. I would write your dad a letter basically saying that he has permanently damaged the relationship and that the letter will serve as your final communication with him. Then I would straight up get a different number cuz blocking would not be enough for me. Really sorry for you. Get some therapy so one day after you process all of this you can begin to trust other PPL. It's a hard road and a lot of work but it will be worth it in the end. Hey brother, I'm so sorry this had happened yo you. Your dad and your wife are both grown and they knew better. You are making the right steps to better yourself but please get proof. Mainly for the lawyer and his family to shut the duck up and get tested for STIs okay. Also this may be rough but is your soon to be ex pregnant. I'm just asking I hate that this happened but at least you know he is your old man so it will take a long time if ever to forgive him. However your health and well-being comes first okay. You're a good man don't let anyone tell you differently. In regards to your extended family. You said that some of them are conflicted. I don't know how important they all are to you or how close you were but you might want to consider sending a mass email. I'm going to assume that you do want some relationship with them and if that's the case this might be a good way to go about saying that. You all know about what recently transpired between my father, my wife and myself. Some of you believe that this happened and others don't. Obviously, this is going to cause divisions within the family because of the enormity of what has happened. That being said because I'm already dealing with enough division in my own life I don't want the added stress of feeling responsible for further division because of the actions of other people. So I'm laying this out for you all now. I am cutting all ties with my father. That is not up for discussion or debate. I am simply stating a fact. For those of you who believe me, I deeply appreciate the support and hope that as time moves on our relationship will feel less impacted by this betrayal. For those of you that don't believe me, I am only going to say this once. Both my father and my wife have both admitted to this. If you have additional proof, you might add it here. I am not interested in anyone denying or downplaying the severity of what they've done. If you feel the need to do so, then we don't need to speak any more. With that in mind, because I've already lost a father and a wife, I am not interested in losing more family. However, I know that you are all your own people and have your own independent relationships with my father. It is up to you on how you plan to reconcile what he did with who he is to you and your relationship. Again, I don't want to lose more family because of the selfish actions of a couple of people and would love to be a part of your lives and for you to be a part of mine. Moving forward, I will have nothing to do with my father or anyone who feels like they need to intercede in any way other than to offer me support. I am not looking to tell you how to do things in the future, but realize that any event that my father intends on being it will be one that I won't be. If he feels like it's up to him to monopolize his family, that's on him. I won't be competing against him. I will however be open to seeing all of you as a group or individually for special occasions or just to hang out even if this means that I simply have to come on separate occasions I'm not asking you to plan your lives and events around including me I'm simply letting you know what I need to do for myself in order for me to move on in my life and heal from this hurt how you decide you want to approach that is up to you I am sorry that what my father has done has led to having to write this and for the ongoing impact it dot will have on all our lives. 
I don't wish for any of you to ever feel this sort of pain or sense of betrayal. I will be dealing with this for some time to come and would appreciate all the support you're willing to give, but if that's not what you can provide I'd rather save us both the heartache and suffering by just going our separate ways now. Let me make this crystal clear, I need to put my own well-being first and if you can't be a part of my healing, on my terms, then it's best that we simply go our separate ways. If you want to get together or even just talk, please don't hesitate to reach out. We are still family and I would rather move forward with you in my life, even under new circumstances than to do that without you. Again, to those of you who believe and support me, thank you, you ha e no idea what it means to me, especially at a time when my whole concept of family ties is being shaken to its core. So that's just off the top of my head. I don't know if it helps but I hope you get whatever help you do need to move on from this and that one day this is all just a distant and blizzard story from your past. Sweet Jesus man, you have my sympathy for how they've treated you. How do you move on in the short term? Get angry man. It helps. Don't let it turn into hate, and don't go crazy. In the long run it's not healthy but for now? A bit of anger is good. Anger is an energy. It'll get you out of bed in the morning, it'll get you to the gym, it'll get you over this until you get to the point one day where the anger fades and you realize you just don't care about them anymore. Beyond that live your life. Meet people. Go out. Dance. Have a good time. It's going to be hard, but being alone thinking about them, that's just going to grind you down. Do stuff that you like, if for no other reason than because she didn't. And honestly man, consider moving. You don't want to run into either one of them. Ever. Definitely get therapy, get counseling. And when they come around asking you to forgive their unforgivable betrayal and they will just remember they want forgiveness to make themselves feel better, not you. You can live a long, happy, healthy life and never forgive either one of them.